solve the simultaneous equation below using matrices inverse method. So step 1, we have to convert it into matrix form. 2, negative 1, 3, 5, 4, negative 3, 3, negative 2, and negative 1. Then multiply with the unknown x, y, z equal to constant negative 25, negative 1, and negative 17. We can name the matrix as A matrix B equal to matrix C. Okay, in order to find x, y, and z, so we have to find the value of B. Okay, A, B equal to C. Then we have to multiply matrix A with inverse matrix A and matrix C with inverse matrix A. Matrix A multiplied with inverse matrix A, we will get I. So I multiplied with B, we will get inverse A multiplied with C. Identity, matrix identity multiplied with matrix B, we will get B. So B equal to A inverse C. Alright, so the second step, we have to find the determinant of matrix A. So determinant A will equal to 2 multiply with the number of 4, negative 3, negative 2 and negative 1. Then minus negative 1 multiply with 5, negative 3. 3 and negative 1 plus 3 multiplied with 5, 4, 3 and negative 2. Alright, then we will get 4 multiplied with negative 1, you will get negative 4. Then negative 3 multiplied with negative 2, you will get negative uh, positive 6. Then minus with plus 1. Multiply with negative 5 plus 9 plus 3 multiply with negative 10 minus 12. So you will get negative 20 plus 4 minus 66. And the answer for determinant A is negative 82. Step 3. We have to find the minor for matrix A. M11 is element, first row, first column. So I have to cover first row and first column. So the leftover is 4, negative 3, negative 2 and negative 1. Alright. Then we have to do the subtraction for 4 multiplied with negative 1 and negative 3 multiplied with negative 2. So equal to negative 10. Then for M12, we have to cover first row and second column. So you will get left over is 5, negative 3, 3 and negative 1. There is negative 5 minus negative 9. So you will get 4. For M13, we have to cover first row and third column. So the leftover is 5, 4, 3 and negative 2. Then you will get negative 10 minus 12. So it's negative 22. Alright, then for M14, 
to 1, you will get negative 1, 3, negative 2, and negative 1. That is 1 minus negative 6. So you will get 7. Then for M2, 2, two you will get 2, 3, 3 and negative 1. So it's negative 2 minus 9. Then you will get negative 11. For M2, 3, you will get 2, negative 1, 3 and negative 2. So it's negative 4 plus 3. Then you will get negative 1. For M31, the left over is negative 1, 3, 4 and negative 3. So you will get 3 minus 12. So it's negative 9. For M32, you will get 2, 3, 5 and negative 3. It's negative 6 minus 15. So it's negative 21. And the last one for M33 is 2, negative 1, 5 and 4. So it's 8 plus 5 equal to 13. Therefore, minor of A equal to negative 10 for negative 22 7 negative 11 negative 1 then negative 9 negative 21 and 30 Then the fourth step, we have to find the cofactor of A. Cofactor of A. So equal to minor Okay, so positive with negative, you will get negative. Then negative with positive, you will get negative. Positive with negative, you will get negative. And negative with positive, you will get negative. Positive with negative, you will get negative. Negative with negative, you will get positive. Then positive with negative, you will get negative 9. Negative with negative, you will get positive 21. And the last one is positive. With positive, you will get 13. Okay, then step 5. We have to find the adjoint of matrix A. So, at join equal to transposition of cofactor. So, we will get, so we have to transpose the row into column. 
negative 9, 21 and 13. So step 6, inverse A equal to 1 over determinant A multiplied with adjoint A. Therefore, equal to 1 over K. Alright, our determinant is negative 82. So negative 82 multiply with the adjoint. So we we'll get negative 10, negative 7, negative 9, negative 4, negative 11, 21, negative 22, 1 and 13. So you multiply in A inverse will equal to 10 over 82 7 over 82 9 over 82 4 over 82 11 over 82 Negative 21 over 82 22 over 82 Negative 1 over 82 And the last one is negative 13 over 82 Alright As we know, in order to find B So we have to take inverse of matrix A multiply with C So V equal to inverse A, C. Then B is X, Y, Z. C is negative 25, negative 1 and negative 7. X, Y, Z equal to A inverse 10 over 82, 7 over 82, 9 over 82, 4 over 82, 11 over 82, negative 21 over 82, 22 over 82, negative 1 over 82, and the last one is negative 13 over 82. Multiply with negative 25, negative 1, and negative 17. Therefore, x, y, z equal to first row multiply first column 10 over 82 multiply negative 25 plus 7 over 82 multiply negative 1 plus 9 over 82 multiply with negative 17 then the second row for y is 4 over 82 multiply with negative 25 plus 11 over 82 multiply with negative 1 and negative 21 over 82 multiply with negative 17 and the last one for z is 22 over 82 multiplied with negative 25 plus negative 1 over 82 multiplied with negative 1 and negative 13 over 82 multiplied with negative 17. So x, y and z will equal to negative 5, 3 and negative 4. Therefore, x equal to negative 5, y equal to 3 and z equal to negative 4.